Hello everybody. Okay, so these are the latest of the latest. And uh, yours truly is here, here this morning. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> and uh, well, we'll start with this one here. This one was made with bad glass, bad coefficient of expansion. And it all crackled, but it made such a neat effect. That I'm actually going to try and do that again. Because it makes for a really neat, uh, neat... Uh, uh, paperweight. Um, this one I finished yesterday, and it's using this brand new glass I just got from Madison in Wisconsin. It's just beautiful, with some cane I recently uh, I recently made. This one here is I keep trying and trying and trying to make these uh, anemone tentacles, and I just can't do it. One of these days I will finally succeed. But this makes for a cute little pendant, nonetheless, with a interesting frilly cane in the middle. And, uh, well, this one's all made, th these are all made with these new recent cane, you know, and sponges and stuff. And this one's a cute uh, bouquet of uh, sponges, all different, all clustered together. And uh, this one's interesting because it looks like it has a little, uh, a little volcano crater in there and all kinds of little life forms and... It's crusty and bottom of the ocean-y kind of look. This one is a particularly well-executed bouquet of sponges. Very, very pretty little critters in there. All kinds of tendrils and tentacles and life and color. And here's another one with a big central one. And, um, and this is a kind of a wave-swept bottom of the ocean. It looks like a wave just went through and swept everybody. And everybody is like uh, soft and pliable and they're all uh, moving along with the movement of the waves. It's a, kind of a neat effect. Uh, you get this liquidy kind of feeling. And this one has a humongous cane in the middle which I think I'd like to turn into a rose or something and all the new cane that I've been making recently. And uh, this one is a really nice bouquet of, uh, of cane, of reef scene, ocean bottom. They're all kind of clustered together and different life forms and little central tendrils. And this one's a, a flower I made using cane and it kind of worked out nicely these are canes on the side they turned out really pretty and chunky and fat and plump and really lovely with a with a stem that spirals down and a bed of gold of in and really lovely too and this is my proudest achievement it's really hard to control the color pink and um I made a pink flower, and it turned out ghostly and translucent, yet it, it, it came out okay. It's, it's really pretty. Uh, Sonia, of course, said mine. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and this, this, well, this is an older one. You've seen this before, but it's just so beautiful. This is a particularly well-executed calla lily, which is our wedding flower. But it, it, it's just so came out so nice that I, I thought I'd show it again as a finale. And that's it. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.